parents and kids share together. Sprout supports your local PBS station. Sometimes people would come in that same week and want a wedding cake, you know, to serve 300 people. Um, we even had to deliver a wedding cake to Chicago. Huge haul, you know, the cake was four tier high, so anything you can imagine, we can make for you. Here on The Utterly Amazing Cow, we've really learned a lot. We've explored the history and the science behind dairy farming, and we've learned about the great products that come from milk. Today, you're going to have the opportunity to use that knowledge in a fun and exciting way. So get ready, we're about to play The Utterly Amazing Game Show. They've been our friends all through time. How I love the sweet bovine. And when your cookie, it needs dipping. Thank a cow for the milk it's given. It's the utterly amazing. Oh, the utterly amazing. It's the utterly amazing. Oh, the utterly amazing cow. The Utterly Amazing Cow is brought to you by... Every day is extraordinary at Fair Oaks Farms. With 32,000 cows, Fair Oaks Farms is a real working dairy farm. One of the largest in the USA. Take a bus tour and see the cows being milked. See a calf being born. See cheese and ice cream being made right before your eyes. Learn all there is to know about a dairy farm from our animated characters and a fun 3D, 4D movie. You'll lose yourself in this wonderful world that's so close to home. Make your plans to visit us today. Fair Oaks Farms, every day extraordinary. Welcome to the Utterly Amazing Game Show. Now, let's meet our teams. On the red team, we have Nathan, Michael, and Annabelle. And on the blue team, we have Sam, Emma, and Claire. Okay, are you all ready for the Utterly Amazing Game Show? Yeah! Okay, each round there's going to be four rounds, and in each round there's going to be three questions. Each question that you get right is five points total. And then after each round is complete, we're going to do a fun challenge activity. Are you guys excited? Yeah! All right, let's start off with a fun icebreak. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's go, come on! By 4000 BC, the Egyptians had used cows to help build the Great Pyramids. Wall paintings of cows can be found in Egypt, and buried in the ground around the pyramids are many layers of cattle bones. For a great warrior, like a Greek warrior, who had a chariot, a horse, armor, and an army, he needed money to pay for those things, and the money depended on the cows back home. Cows became so important that they eventually were used as money themselves. The Romans used them this way and even stamped their coins with a cow on them. The Roman word for money is pecunia, which means cattle. Records show that cheese, butter, and milk were all important foods to a Roman person's diet. During the Dark Ages, cheese making started to become an art form. Monks and monasteries developed and perfected new ways to make cheese and became leaders in the business of cheese making. They taught these techniques to others that continued the tradition. By the 1600s, Europeans started to sail across the Atlantic in search of the new world. And with them, they brought cows. Cows would provide food and nourishment for the sailors on the trip, and labor once they got to shore to help start a new life. Are you excited? Let me hear you, are you excited? All right, player number three, come on up. Okay, are you ready? Okay, this is round number one. We're talking about the history of cows, okay? okay. Question number one. Ancient Egyptians used cows to build what? Blue team. Pyramids? Pyramids, very good. Blue team gets five points. Make sure you guys yell the answer when you know it, okay? All right, player number one, come on up. You ready? Hands down, okay? All right. During the Dark Ages, monks developed 
Sorry, monks developed new ways to do what? Red team. Make cheese. Very good. Red team gets five points. Player number two, come on up. Okay, true or false? When European explorers first sail sailed the new world, they discovered cows already living there. Yes. False. False. Very good. Red team gets five more points. Player number three, come on up. Question number four. Pecunia, the Roman word for money, also means what? Red team. Um, cow. Very good. The red team gets five more points. All right. That's the end of round number one. Are you guys ready for a next or a fun challenge? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Woo. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. All right. On the marks, get set, start stomping. Stay over here, okay? Very good, so we have Holstein and Ayrshire. Good job!